What's going on everyone? Jake here. Uh, as you can see, we are on the road and uh, behind us we have the old 85 Chevy. And that is because I got a message from a kid and said he had something pretty sweet that he wanted to trade. So I'm on my way right now. Uh, I got about an hour drive. Well, I think I got about 40 minutes or so left now. Um, but yeah, so we're going to take this old rusty Chevy and uh, trade it for something sweet. And I'll show it to you when we get there. So it's the next day. Uh, we got it home last night and uh, unloaded it off the trailer because I was supposed to go pick up a couple lawnmowers. And on the way to pick them up, the guy said he had sold them to somebody else. But anyways, uh, well, Edgar's here to check it out. But yeah, uh, let's take a look at it. It is an IROC. It's a 90. Somebody tried telling me, he was like, oh, the sticker's in the back, that's not a real IROC, they were all up here. I'm like, well, the 80s ones were up here, the 90s were, stickers are in the back of the door. So, it's, it's not really in the best of shape. It's pretty beat up, but it's also not horrible. Unfortunately, there's no T-tops on it. And now it's covered in cat prints. So, the interior, the problem I'm having right now, I don't understand the interior. A lot of the interior is taken apart, and uh, the steering column is just destroyed. It's completely wasted. Um, the kid that had it was uh, going to replace the ignition cylinder, and obviously didn't do it the right way. <laughs> so, that's my problem right now. I've already found another steering column at the local junkyard for 50 bucks out of a 90 Firebird I'm probably gonna go get and I've already bought a new ignition cylinder so hopefully uh, it won't be too hard to fix that up but the rest of it I mean the interior I don't know I don't know what happened why the interior is all pulled apart like it is but we have to put it all back together it's missing the air controls I'm gonna have to find those um, so it's not too bad rust wise the floors other than the driver's side the driver's side's soft um, but the rest of the floors are okay I guess they're acceptable um, look out look out yes my cat is a genius the smartest cat in the world and underneath it has Flowmaster that goes into dual tips. So this thing ought to sound pretty good. It's got the 5.7 tune port 350. Show that to you. Oh, this heavy hood, the shocks aren't on it. Okay, so there's that. Uh, the distributor's out of it. He said he... Oh, it's got headers on it, too. Um, he said he pulled the the old distributor out because something was wrong with it. So we got another one, which is right there. And I gotta put that one in. Um, also, I think the heater core's bad because I see there's a hose unhooked. And there's also a brand new heater core inside the car. So, 
I guess it needs a heater core. But I really don't know. I put a battery in it and tried turning it over. It wouldn't do anything. It might it might not do anything without uh, the proper key. Come on. You better get your leg out of there. There you go. If anyone wants a cat, uh, he's free. Come and get him. Very dumb. Uh, this driver's fender looks like somebody got mad punched it all over. I don't know what the deal with that is. Uh, but overall, it's... I mean, it's definitely a project, but... I mean, it's an IROC, and it's way better, worth a lot more than that old rusty Chevy truck, so... Yeah, well, we'll see. Let's see. I'm probably going to get that steering column and put in it and uh, put the distributor back in and see if we can make it run. And then go from there. So there you are. Uh, let me know what you think. I think, uh, I think I did pretty well. It was a pretty good trade in my book. Um, so let me know what you think. Smash that like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of this car in the future. And have a good one.